There we go. Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream. It's been it's been a long time since I've live streamed last time. And as you can see, I'm, I'm in, in a new new position, new place. So, are we gonna play Elder Scrolls Online today? Which I'm excited for, because it's um, I've never really like adventured through the new expansion called High Isle. I've done it a bit, but you know, it's not like a lot. So I kind of like wanted to try it for real now, and I just saw the opportunity to do it tonight. So that's why I'm here. To play High Isle. And I'm excited to get started. So I have a Nightblade character. And by the way, welcome to the stream. Blackout Gaming and Saffron Fisher. Welcome both of you. And everyone else who is in the chat right now. So I have made a new, brand new Nightblade. Uh, Nightblade is, if you think of other MMOs, it's probably like a rogue. But the cool thing is here that's very different from other MMOs is that you can kind of build your character the way you want. So I'm actually a rogue slash Nightblade with a two-hand sword. You, you, you wouldn't normally see that in other games. Like normally when you see a rogue from other MMO, MMOs, you would see them with like a dagger, sword, a bow, crossbow, gun, you know. But I'm a freaking rogue with a freaking two-hand sword. You have to admit, that's pretty unique. So, and this is my armor I'm running around in right now. I was like, you know, like exploring different armor op options. But um, I'm going to go back and change it. Huh, you can actually... We can see how she looks like when she has her, you know, like um, her own armor. You can see the raised armor they have. Kind of curious how she would look like with that. It's called Kashid. It's actually pretty cool to her. I have to admit, it's saying that that's actually pretty cool. What if we do it? If we do the plate version, the plate version is like by heavy armor, but. We can also equip that without any problems. See, I don't like the helmet. The helmet, the helmet is a no-go. Yeah, the leather helmet is definitely cooler. The leather chest is also cooler. How about the... Oh, that's a pretty cool one. Okay, let's see. Let's see how the cloth one looks like. We gotta test them all. I like that. It's like um, kind of like a bit. I kind of like that, but yeah, as you can see, it's pretty expensive to put on this armor. So I'm gonna take some armor, which is actually free to use. So I'm probably going to use the Imperial one. So we could do like the, a hoodie. Chest. Should we do Imperial chest? Leather chest? Clay chest? Well, actually, screw that. We, we, we're going to go with Ascending. That's the new armor from the trailer also. We're going to do that. Should I do helmet or no helmet? Mm. Helmet, no helmet. Let's do helmet, just for fun. Is it is it costing money so it actually is, okay. So I gotta put back that one there. There we go. Apply changes. 
Let me do pretty cool. Let's start this adventure. We just got like a XP scroll so for two hours now. We got 50% more experience points, which is pretty cool. So where do our main quest want us to go? Over there. Go to the druid's hut. We'll do that. I wonder what kind of like, we, we're gonna stop the lo-fi music because I want to hear what kind of like in-game music the game has. Isn't that? I mean, that it doesn't sound like there's any music at all. I'm gonna try having it at 100% for a while. seems like the game doesn't play music for you all the time so you're gonna put it back on 20 disable music and put back our low fire then we at least have something in the background Where are we going? We're going up there. Go to the druid's heart. The druid's heart. Go to the druid's heart. This, yeah, it is the main quest we're on in High Idol. So I need to get four medium armor to come become a better sneaker because I want to go f I want to go full uh, medium because then when I have full medium oh I don't have so I can show you actually oh teleport strike shadow cloak. I kind of want to test that teleport strike. That sounds really awesome. Be like teleporting and can you imagine like a teleporting strike with a two-hand sword? Okay, let's see what kind of actions we're gonna get down here. Oh yeah, we kind of probably want to have the voice up a bit because we want to be able to hear like the let's see how f if we can hear what she's saying greetings traveler is there something i can do for you do you need a poultice or perhaps an herbal so if we say 50 and then put everything down on 52 Except the dialogue. Yeah, that's like not too noisy. So she's she. Greetings, traveler. Is there something I can do for you? Do you need a poultice or perhaps an herbal tea? Much much better. Now we can actually hear what she's saying. Greetings. Oh yeah, well, wait. She actually. Oh, I I forgot that this game actually has voice on. 
It's like when you, when you play Final Fantasy or World of Warcraft, you used to you have to read up the missions, but you don't have to here. So we can say back to her, I'm looking for Guild Magister Valisen, Valisa, Valisia, and Guild General Quentin. Ah, yes. The curious mage and the stern warrior. They stopped by when I mentioned that rogue knights had been making the countryside dangerous. They decided to investigate. I told them where I'd last seen the knights and they set out at once. I see, so they're looking for the knights. So if you don't know the story behind this new expansion, it's literally evil knights are terrorizing this land, this new land. Uh, it's like a rogue army, ninja army, which have knight armor on. So we basically have to stop them. Why did you send them? A clearing to the southwest. I'll mark the spot on your map. I saw a band of the knights gathering there the last time I went out to gather herbs. They forced me to retreat without them. I warned Valesia and Quentin it might be dangerous. A druid's come on a high isle. Oh, you'll find druids throughout the Sisters' archipelago. Not too many on the mainland, though. Long ago, we druids left Tamriel and its troubles behind us. But here, our ancient ways survived. I wonder, like, if Druid and Warden is the same. You know, there's like a class in the game you can play that's called Warden. It's like, is that the same, or is it actually two different things? We have another quest here. I can't believe me. That's like a well. Uh, Good luck. It's like a side quest. We don't. We don't need to hear side quests. So back to our main quest. That's the one there. It actually tells us there's a bus over here. Ifrin's cauldron. Let's see if we can kill that boss, or... Well, I, I probably can solo it, but maybe there's some other people over here. So we can, like, do it together. Together. Together, apes are strong. Oh, okay, so it kind of blocked me the way, so I'm not supposed to go that way up. Oh. I see, so that's the bus. It seems like no one is here to kill the bus, so we should probably skip it. Yeah, that's not gonna be as... Oh, wait. He's level 2405. Oh, wait. That's Deacon. Hey, Deacon, welcome to the stream. Who is this guy? He looks like a guy I know who used to stream, but that was a long time ago. You're funny. Ha <laughs> ha Funny. No, something happened in life which made it a bit more hard stream it's um it's it's a bit difficult to stream now you better click like on the stream <laughs> yeah it, it makes it a bit more difficult now to do streaming so it's more people joining us i, I don't think so well, actually, no, it's because I've moved my office upstairs. So I'm actually, as you can see now, it's a new scene. I, I don't like sit down in the office anymore. We have like bedroom there now. So I'm actually sitting upstairs where behind that door, my young, my oldest daughter is sleeping. And at the door just next to me, my youngest daughter is sleeping. So you can imagine me sitting out here talking while they sleep. It's like they wake up. But today they're not home, so you know they are home at uh, the, the wife's parents. 
So that's why I can sit here and scream as much as I want. Well, this boss is not going to get killed, so screw that. Let's unlock this shrine here. Yeah, shrine. Which means I can teleport to here next time. Fast travel. So, yes, so. Is there some kind of monsters, monsters anywhere? I kind of want to like try my new teleport strike. Oh, there we go. That was sick. How is people even going to escape me now? I really hope it can be transferred into a... a stamina spell. We'll see when I operate it. So what's my mission? Okay, I still have to go down there. some runes, rune stones. Oh, what's that? That's another quest. Bulky. Bulky's backpack. Yeah, we're not gonna do that now. We're gonna follow the main quest. It's all about the main quest right now. Search for the guild delegates. What is that one doing? Slash an enemy. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Guild. Over here, I, I could use some help. Wait, I need this rune stone. You're the one Lady Arabelle spoke to at the docks, aren't you? You volunteered to help investigate the ships that failed to reach port. It's good to see a friendly face, especially after what just happened. Tell me what have happened. Guild General Quentin accompanied me to visit Druid Ravana. When she told us about rogue knights in the area, Quentin was eager to investigate. It was the Ascendant Order. They overpowered Quentin and knocked me senseless. They captured Quentin. Was the Guild General Quentin injured? I don't think so. The Ascendant Order was definitely trying to take us alive. That's the only reason I had the opportunity to throw up a shroud spell and avoid being captured myself. Did you come out here to find us? Lady Arable sent me to warn you that the Ascendant Order was targeting conference delegates. And Ravana told you where to find us. Good. Now, we must rescue Quentin. I may have a way to find where the Ascendant Order took him, but we should get to safety first. Meet me back at Druid Ravana's hut. Do you think the Ascended Order followed you out here? No. We came upon them just as they were finishing an attack on a caravan. But I assume they recognized us or decided our station warranted capture rather than elimination. But you came with a warning, didn't you? What this, did you find out? The Ascendant Order sabotaged the lighthouse. We think they may have wrecked Lady Arabelle's ships. Wrecked the ships? How in oblivion could they coordinate such a thing? Well, lady, I can't use your help anymore. So where are we going now? The night of the knives. Ah, 
Oh, we're going up there. Okay. Firstly, I'm going to unlock this one down here. There's like a ambient. What's this portal? This, what the hell? There was a portal for two seconds ago here, and I was which itching my eyes a little. Bit. Oh, it's gone. I should have injured my eye. So what you're seeing right now is a vent, which is like um, they have different like five, I think four, three different vents around this world here in this new expansion, and these vents get activated by time by time. So. There's always one active, which means it has like a lot of monsters and bosses, which give you nice rewards. So whenever you know like this one here is active, then another, then when you finish it, then another one gets active. So there's always one active. It's pretty cool. It means like you can grind them, but it's not active at the moment, which means like one of the others out here is active. Morgan sec. Seeking. Hey, it's Valen. Any news on Core Punk lately? No, sorry. We, we, we still haven't got any news about Core Punk. Um, we know that. Core, well, we know the game is still working and the diffs are safe, but uh, we still haven't got an update yet. Hello, Tom. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Good to see you here. I hope you had a nice travel back home without any problems or any issues. Hope you had a good. Good last day in uh, in Denmark. Yeah. Oh, we have a second quest here. That's cool. Hello, oh, Maureen. Oh, good. A kind face. I have tried time and again. I knew. Are you still? Oh my God. Flight delayed. Oh, that's horrible. I mean, it's like it's twelve o'clock. So you, you're gonna be late, so, like home so late. Wow, you and your Simo, you you must be like so sleepy. I am very sorry to hear. I understand, Valesia. Do what you must. I owe you a debt of gratitude for coming to my aid. It seems once again that Lady Arabelle chose well. Now to see if I can find Guild General Quentin, and by extension, the rogue knights who carried him away. Ah, interesting. How can you track Guild General Quentin? Uh, Tom is saying, yeah, going to be late one. Ah, uh, damn it. I remember the flight I had in Dubai when going back was delayed like six hours. It was horrible. At least I had my phone and, you know, Netflix, so I could like watch. I think I love, I think I watched Love Dev Robots. I can't remember. Yeah, he's still asleep. <laughs> I, I can imagine. I mean, he slept, what, like four hours or something like that? <laughs> How can you track General Guild General Quentin? I enchanted the invitation medallions that each delegate carries so I can trace my own magic to locate Quentin. Now, let me see. They move to north and east, across the lock. I see a chapel, crypts, maybe abandoned? No question. Quentin is there. I see. If all the delegates have a medallion, can you use them to find the missing ships? Lady Arabelle asked me to try as soon as we realized the ships were late. I wasn't able to make a connection with those medallions. Maybe they were too far away, or some other magic interfered with my scrying, but I wasn't able to detect anything. Huh. Should we head directly to the abandoned crypts you saw? No, we need to return to Lady Arabelle and share this information. Then we can mount a rescue for Guild General Quentin. I'll meet you at Lady Arabelle's little pavilion. What she calls her field office, I believe. Mm. Hey Stormbull, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Tom, Tom is saying we'll catch up with you later. I think we have to go to the gate. Oh, nice. Finally getting back to the, the Great Britain. Well, talk to you later and... Uh, have a good flight if you are getting on the flight. So, so we're gonna answer back, Valisa. I'll meet you there. Okay. So we are going into the city again in the main entrance. Very cool. Very cool. Talk to Lady Arabel the Vax. 
I will. I, I, I freaking love this world. Like this, there's, there's no expansion here. It's it, it's a wonderful place. Like it's really, it's really nice. Especially like if you're into castle stuff, so you, then you have like stuff like that. It's uh, it's really good. A squirrel. Also the gate over there, like that. No, sorry, that's actually a bridge. Looks so good. I, I like it. So we should meet Arabelle over here. Oh, there we go. That sounds like a Bane Chapel, but only one medallion is there. Hmm. Uh, Deacon is asking. I just checked my ESO account and I have 11,000 crowns. Is that a lot? My man, that is a lot. That is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Because you can see here, if you go to the store, you could, for example, you can, you can even buy like 30 of these crates. God, they can, they can give you such cool. Oh my God, I want that one. They can give you such cool, like, um, as you can see, this one, it's a costume, so you can look like this. It can even give you like, uh, oh my god, no, did they remove it? No. Did they remove it? And there was such a cool skin, I was like trying to get... But it's already gone now. Oh, no, wait, that is... That one, it's so cool. But yeah, so you can see here, um, the, the crowns you basically can get here is you, you can unlock like you can't you can't unlock the expansion they want money for that but you can like unlock the uh, dlcs so all the previous dlcs in the game see here 2000 1500 2000 literally if you get all these expansions here all the, all the patches you, see, you can even get the previous expansion the crowns but you can also save them and just have a subscription and then you can get like uh, for example um, you can get like this one here which is a multi-mount, so you can actually be two people on it. It's a brand new one, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I'm actually just gonna use my points. Uh, reduce the cost of sneak, reduce the cost of repairing uh, your armor, increase your out of combat movement speed. Yeah, that's the one I want. So now I'm gonna move 14% faster. That is quite a lot. And here we can max magicka, weapon and spell damage, max stamina. I'm gonna do weapon and spell damage. Uh, yes, please. And we are going here to take. Um, Max health, armor, recovery. I think I'm gonna go for more health. It's always nice to become a, like a bit more tangy. So 1000 more HP, 100 more damage and 40% more speed. Yeah, I can just see how fast my character suddenly got. Wait, Deacon is saying, apparently I bought the Somerset expansion in 2018. Not sure which one that was. Uh, Somerset was like... Uh, three expansions behind. But you have uh, Somerset. Then after Somerset, I think we got uh, Skyrim. And then after Skyrim, we got... Uh, no, wait. After Somerset, that was the one with dragons. I think it's what called Elsewhere. And then after Elsewhere, we got Skyrim. And then after Skyrim, we got uh, Blackwood. And after Blackwood, we've got the one we have now called High Isle. Yeah. That's how it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, because we can see down here like... Uh... Oh, okay, no, it's actually ordered in totally random. I could consider using a bit money to buy some favor, of these, you, my these crates. Time. 
I don't even like that one. That one is not very cool. That is a very cool mount. Huh. Valesia apprised me of the situation. I believe I know the place where she thinks they're holding Quentin. It must be the crypt below a Bane Chapel on the northern shore of the lock. Will you accompany us on this rescue mission, my dear? I help you to rescue Gail General Quentin. I suppose you've earned the truth, and you certainly deserve my complete confidence. The three ships carried High King Emric, Queen Irene, and Prince Ernskar, son of Yorin the Scald King. I dare say I've misplaced the leaders of Tamriel. What kind of conference is Lord Bakari holding exactly? I said you deserve the truth. Lord Bakaro invited the Alliance leaders here for peace talks. He hopes to end the Three Banners War. If we find Quentin with the Ascendant Order, we may find our missing royals. Meet me at the chapel north of the lock. So, so okay, so she's saying that on those ships that like literally destroyed in the water, um, all the three leaders for each of the three factions in the game was on those ships. We'll rendezvous at a Bane Chapel on the north side of the lock. I've already sent an operative ahead to scout the area. Be prepared to defend yourself. The Ascendant Order won't give up Guild General Quentin without a fight. But... But what, what, what is if it's, if it's a trap? Whatever the situation, I won't abandon Quentin to his fate. Oh, that's good. Let me write that down. <laughs> oh, Besides, we have to risk it. Both to save Quentin and to see if we can learn anything about the missing Alliance leaders. Alright. Arabel, let's see where, where you want me to go now. Uh, Night of the Knaves. Oh, okay, so you want me to go up there. Okay. That can be arranged. It's like, kind of what? I think I'm gonna use that mount instead. It's a bit more cool, I want. Yeah, that's like, you know, because I'm like an assassin with like red blood magic. And this one is a bit more like a red blood, blood magic. I think I have to get up here. Yeah, that's the place. Right, here we come. Did I stop the music? What's that? It's it's a uh, Appine Capel. Actually, I'm not sure if you pronounce it. Is it Chapel or Capel? Chapel. Or Capel. I don't know. I need a British person to tell me. It's Chap L. Chap L. Okay, cool. Thank you. A British person saved my day. Okay, so we have Lady Arabelle and Guild Magister Valesa here. There, it's open. Got any more locks you need picked? <laughs> How about you, Valesia? I think not, thank you. <laughs> Now's not the time, Jakan. Let's see what awaits us down in the crypts. Did he literally make a flirting joke about unlocking her locks? Ah, oh, Jakan. You dirty man. Chapel. 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 It's writing on the Discord. Totally agree with you. 
Wait, get my guy in charge. Ah, okay. So, where are we? I can't pinpoint the exact location of Quentin's medallion. He could be anywhere in here. I'll scout ahead. Maybe someone should watch the door in case anyone follows us. I'll keep watch. Be careful. Aw, oh, <laughs> I knew you cared. Quentin is our priority, but keep your eyes open. Who knows what the Ascendant Order left lying about? I see. Deacon is saying, I've caved and I'm installing ESO. Might as well see if I'm being a being a werewolf is more viable. I actually seen um, I've I've been recent I've been watching a lot of PvP players recently streaming, and I've actually been seeing a lot of werewolves lately, so I definitely think it's a worth one. I know a lot of people is having vampire. They don't use any of the vampire spells, but they use the passives because there's one of them that gives you like, I think it's like six. It's some kind of like damage reduction. turn down the sound so we're just gonna do 100% master volume but everything else is gonna go down on 20 20 except dialogue that's gonna be on 50 20 and cinematic death yeah that's gonna that's how we're gonna do it yeah, Vampire Passes works all the time, but Werewolf ones only work when transformed. Not sure if they change that. I'm actually not sure, but I've seen recently a lot of Werewolves in PvP. Oh, damn. Still kind of loud, isn't it? We're gonna try at ten percent. Ascendant order propaganda. Don't be taken in. They are not as benevolent as they want you to think. No sign of Quentin yet, though. We should keep going. Trying to find out how to... Okay, so weave spell. Why is it like... Attack the... Attack the... Attack the... Yeah. That's how you do view weaving. The Ascendant Order has the captains of our missing ships, but where are the Alliance leaders? First things first, clear the path to the South Crypts, please. We must rescue the captains and hope that Quentin Lady is with Arabelle. them. Lady Arabelle. Kaleen, Zaji, Zuzo. Thank the Divines you're all right. But where are the delegates? Apologies, my lady. We lost our charges. Zaji, is not all right. Not to spoil the reunion, but we're about to get company. Jakan, free the captains. Friend, keep the Ascendant Order at bay. Buy us some time.
stupid thing won't... <clears throat> Wait, got it. Collect Valesia and get the captains to safety, Jakarn. We'll find Quentin. The knights took Quentin away not long ago. I think they're questioning him now. Then we must hurry. Come, my friend. Quentin, isn't that like the guy with the blue... The... Wasn't he the like, leader of the blue faction? Listen and try to figure out what's going on. A new age of peace is upon us. An age of free peoples. Standing together, not kneeling in distant thrones. Not your war, General. What saves you? The war took everything from me. I... I am with you. How can I help? The Order is trying to recruit Quentin? We have to put a stop to this. Level up. Claim. Stamina. Did I just go two levels? Uh, play in Jade. Shadow Cloak. Shadow Cloak sounds fun. Each delegate carries a medallion like this one, Magus. It serves as both an invitation and a key. Keep it. We may need your access later. Right now, I want you to kill the meddling investigator nipping at our heels. Lady Arabelle? Uh, but she's... No longer working alone. She's found some capable help. Deal with them. Oh, Quentin. I guess you've made your choice. Ah, uh, Quentin was the guy we were trying to save. this spell it's like I can just go into stealth that's really cool just like hidden and it's like I can keep using it to refresh There you are, Quentin. You Here is your chance, Quentin. Stop these fools and strike a blow for the people. I'm sorry, Lady Arabelle, but I have made my choice. For the Ascendant Do Order! We, we can't allow the General to stop us. I'm sorry it came to that, but well thought, my friend. Let's speak outside. Dear, dear Quentin, you could have become a rock star, but you chose to join the Ascendant. 
I didn't expect Guild General Quentin to turn on us, and I certainly didn't desire his death. It seems sympathy for the Ascendant Order is more widespread than I knew. We must be cautious, particularly with whom we choose to trust going forward. You think some of the others may turn on us? Do I expect it? No. But that doesn't mean we should let our guard down. This venture wasn't a complete failure, though. We rescued the captains of our missing ships. We need to find out what happened at sea and what befell the Alliance leaders. Hmm. Where did Jukan and Valisa take the captains? To Mandrake Manor, my home in Gonfalon Bay. I'll mark it on your map. Jakan, Valesia, and I have been using my townhouse as a base of operations. I'm confident that it is as safe from the Ascended Order as any other location we might choose. Why is it called Mandrake Manor? Oh, the name comes from a book I'm rather fond of. I bought the manor to serve as my home in retirement, and I keep a few mementos of my career there. Meet me there, my dear, and we'll see what our rescued captains have to say about all this. Well, I'll meet you in the Gunfalon Bay. Oh, so we finally going over here. No, that's not a quest. Uh, so we're just going back to the city, okay. So where is that? That's all there, okay. and talk to Captain Colleen. Find out what happened at sea. I need a moment to collect my thoughts. So while she do that, well, while we're going to go in for the next thing, I'm going to just quickly go down and get something to drink. So I'll be, be right back.
Hello, hello. Cheers. Ah, that's good. Okay, let's continue. Mandrax Manor. So we have Captain Kaleen, Suo, and Sajin. Kaleen, Suo, and Sachi. Must Zaji tell this sad story again? The last Zaji saw of Queen Irene, she was struggling to launch a damaged skiff. Then Zaji was swept away in the storm. Zaji was entrusted with getting her safely to High Isle, but he lost her, her and Koska. Oh, okay. So she's a, he. He's actually one of the servants for uh, bodyguards for Queen Arian. I see. Can you tell me what happened out of the sea? Zaji must admit he was sleeping in his cabin when the storm hit. He woke up when cold water climbed into bed with him. The next thing Zaji knows, he is being fished out of the sea by strange knights. I'm saved, Zaji thinks. Then they tied me up. I'm saved, Saji thinks, then they tied me up. Okay, so that's the that's the evil's ascended knights. Just have to turn off my flash on my phone. You were fished out of the war <coughs> You were fished out of the water by the ascended order? The annoying knights, yes. <laughs> Saji heard the commander talking. The Lord, they called him. He was angry the Alliance leaders did not wash ashore with Zaji. Zaji did not see the Lord's face, but he spoke like a Breton noble. Zaji could hear it. Uh, what about Queen Irene? Zaji lost Queen Irene and first made Casca too. The wind and the waves must have carried them somewhere else. The Lord and the Magus, the Order's leaders, they swore to comb every beach until they found her. And the others too, Zaji supposes. I see. And then this guy must be from Avon. I thank you for my rescue. I do not think the Ascendant Order had any more use for me. Once they realized I could not tell them what became of Prince Ernskar, they dragged me back to the cell. Do you remember what happened out sea? I remember it like the ripples in my favorite pond. A storm blew up without warning. My ship was driven onto the rocks near Aminos and broke apart. All were cast into the sea. When we reached shore, those rogue knights grabbed us. What happened to Prince Ernska? I did not see what became of him. He might have been trapped in the part of the ship that was swept away. Or maybe the currents carried him to a different part of the shore. Or... He might have drowned. I know that many of my crew did. Damn. And then we just need Kaleen. I honestly didn't think we'd ever leave that cell alive. I owe you a debt of gratitude, friend. We all do. And I owe Dark Master of Gonfalon Bay payment of a different kind. I visit High Isle often, and I considered Alnald a friend. Bah. Can you tell me what happened out at sea and how you wound up in the crypts? An armored mage and a gang of ruffians were waiting at the shallows. They clubbed down all who made it ashore. Dark Master Arnold showed up and I thought we were saved. But the mage, a Brent noble by his voice, paid him to walk away and leave. Okay. That's pretty sus. Back up, what happened before you washed, washed ashore? We were nearing landfall when a huge storm swept out of nowhere. I looked for the light at Gonfalon Head, but the lighthouse was dark. We were blown off course, crashed upon some rocks. I lost sight of High King Emmerich, but somehow made it to shore. Do you know where High King Emmerich and all the leaders are now? I'm not sure. I didn't see any of the royals when I waded ashore, and I was the last one from my ship to make it to the beach. The tide turned as I swam in, and no one was washed up after me. 
I'm afraid you won't find the High King at the Shallows. I see. Over here, dear, we have much to... I adore this view. Isn't the Colossus a wondrous sight? Still, gazing upon it does nothing to quell my anxiety. Somehow the Ascendant Order learned not only about our secret peace talks, but that the Alliance leaders were going to attend. At least they don't have High King Emmerich, Queen Erin, or Prince Rinska yet. And neither do we. We're not even sure they're still alive, but we must hope. Your help has been invaluable thus far, my dear, and you've earned every piece of gold in this pouch. We'll find the Alliance leaders and unmask the Order. We have. Just as the Colossus watches over Gonfalon Bay, I was supposed to keep the Alliance leaders safe. I failed in that, but at least they aren't in the Ascendant Order's hands. Not yet, anyway. What did Captain Colleen and the others have to say, dear? The captains believed the Order's leader are Breton nobles, and the delegates didn't wash ashore. Breton nobles? Yes. We heard that as well when the Ascendant Lord and the Magus were speaking in the crypts. That's something to go on. And if the Alliance leaders didn't end up in the shallows, we'll need to look elsewhere. What else, dear? Captain Kaleen saw the Dark, Ma Dark Master accept gold from Magus when they captured her. Well, that's a lead we can investigate. I'd like to have a chat with Dark Master Arnold about that and a great many other things. I detest being lied to, and he did it with such conviction. You're still on retainer, dear. Would you care to join me? I'll help you interrogate with Dark Master or not. The Dark Master's home overlooks the harbor to the west. Jakan and I will meet you there. First Quentin, now this. I hardly know who to trust. Times like these, I take a moment to contemplate the Colossus in the harbor. Okay. So we're gonna go over and bust that sus duck master. His house is over there. Okay, great. Let's get to it. I actually think I got some new items. So two hand. We got a way better axe. Uh. Got a ring. All right, not bad. So we have to get over there. Fine, 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 fine. Oops, I forgot to remove that um, thing on my screen saying get, getting snacks and drinks. That's another quest here. Well, let's try and turn off the lo-fi music and turn back um, the music in the game. So yes. Very nice. I like that. Test, 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 test. Wait a minute.
There we go. I'm setting the music to 20 or else it gets too overwhelmed. Oh cool, the vent down there is active. Let's go down and get some loot. You know, we made we might get actually some really good loot. Oh, I think they are on the last bus. Great work, but questions still remain. I shall return to my order and report all that has happened until we meet again. Ah, oh, goddammit. They just finished it. Well, no loot for me. Do they still have those upgrade packs for getting fast amount? Um, upgrade status. Upgrades. Amori slot. Assistance. Character slots. Classes. I got them all. Collector's pack. So I got it for Imperial Edition, I got it for Blackwood, Somerset. I got that one too, so that's weird, it doesn't say. Oh well, so I need to see here. Um, upgrade, inventory, outfit, riding lessons. Yeah, so literally I can buy these. Name and race change. Lines change. Skill line. Curse of Vampire. Fighter skills, skill master. Oh, okay, so if you have already done fighter guild you can actually buy it on your L characters uh, need those report 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 oh. yeah but it's like super annoying even though you report them they're still in the chat so it's like well how do I do it then then Hide user on this channel. Hide user on this channel. Ah, okay. Then it then it gets deleted. Then no one can see it. Okay, great. Turn back the YouTube chat. So if you unlocked all your skill shots, check other characters to purchase login to a character who has acquired the associated sky shots. So I got two new 
class. So we can upgrade that one into stamina spell. Now one we can upgrade into stamina spell. We're gonna do the stamina. Stamina. Cross the caution blade with lethal. This has a stamina enemy. No, 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 no. Heals you for. If the enemy dies within two seconds, being to do. And then this one now does slash an enemy, dealing damage and applying sundry stats. Attacking with surprise attacks from the flank stuns the enemy. Okay, cool. Always good with new spells. I kind of want to try it. That's actually the wrong place. We have to go there. Don't be offended. He so what happens if they see me? And I use... Hidden. So it's like so I get hidden, but they still chase me. guys think you're rocks, but I'm also rogue. With a freaking two-hand sword. Place is a mess. I imagine the Ascendant Order ruffians loitering outside had something to do with that. Let's look around. Hmm. Someone planning to depart doesn't set a meal on the table. A few drops of dried blood. Hmm. A scuffle, but not a murder. As per our arrangement, here's your payment for your continued assistance and distraction. It is imperative that you direct official attention away from salvage operation on High Isle until we have finished our work at the Shallows. You may find yourself tempted to look deeper into our business, see whether we are willing to pay more before your silence. I must warn you that I strongly dislike renegotiating settled agreements after the fact. Stay away from the lock and content yourself with the handsome sum you have been paid and all shall profit. The Ascendant Magus. Mr. Justice, Captain Kali. I think I have a picture of what transpired here. Let's talk, my dear. Nothing packed, food left on the table, and signs of a recent scuffle. I think it's safe to say Dark Master Arnold found that his Ascendant Order friends weren't entirely satisfied with their arrangement. They've obviously spirited him away. Spirited him away? Why, why, why would the Ascendant Order kidnap Dark Master Arnold when they already have reaped him? The Dark Master ignored the wishes of the Ascendant Magus. Captain Colleen saw Arnold collect another payment at the lock. I suspect he got greedy. And once he proved he wouldn't stay bribed, well, he became a liability. Uh, where do we go from here? 
The Ascendant Order's throwing around a lot of coin on High Isle. If we follow the gold, we'll find someone with wealth and local influence behind this. Another clue that a High Isle noble is involved. Hmm. Perhaps they want to keep the war going. Why would anyone to keep the war going? Profit, of course. That's what it always comes down to. Lord Bakaro should be able to tell us which nobles stand to lose if the war ends. Go to Steadfast Manor, northwest of the city. I'll have Jakarn look for the Dockmaster and then meet you there. Do you think anyone else is secretly working on the Ascendant for the Ascendant Order? Almost certainly. As I said, we must be careful about whom we... Tr okay, so this is like a standard situation with war that someone is always like... So for the people who don't understand what's going on, basically, the three factions in the game, the leaders, they're trying to come to this place where we are right now. This island here. Um, this island here called High Idol and Imenos. And all the three different faction leaders try to come here to like, you know, talk about freedom, like making it all good. And these knights here, the evil knights, wants to like stop it. Because they, as they, as she just said, they're probably getting, they're getting, um, you know, like money from war, maybe from selling weapons or stuff like that. So we're gonna find out. Who they are? Well, which rich, rich. Which of the rich man in this island here is actually going to benefit from if the war is keeping going on? Which I'm very curious about. So far the story is great. You there! Can we speak for a moment? I can take your side quest. Fortune. But I'm not going to read it because I'm on the main quest at the moment. Go to Steadfast Manor. I want to help Lady Arabelle, but I'm concerned for the safety of my retainers. My associate might be able to help in that regard, Lord Bacaro. I'm busy. Very busy. Fuck. Lady Arabella asks about the nobility, while two of my retainers are missing. The Society of the Steadfast will do whatever is necessary to keep its people safe. Uh, she mentioned the Ascendant Order might be involved. Do you think that's possible? You know that the Ascendant Order has been attacking people all across High Isle. Yes, I understand that you and Lady Arabella have tangled with these brigands before. They claim to be knights, but they have no honor. Will you do as Lady Arabelle suggested and look for my retainers? I would consider it a personal favor. Where are where your retainers headed? I sent Grenier and Denise to retrieve a shipment from the Navir docks, but I expected them back ages ago. They were traveling the road to the south. I just pray no evil befell them. The supplies we can lose, but good people are irreplaceable. Hmm. I'll look for your missing retainers. Thank you, my friend. I'll confer with Lady Arabelle while we await your return. I'll tell her everything I know about the nobility of High Isle. It... So, people... Down there. Okay. We gotta get back to our war. So... I wonder if we're gonna find anyone down there or it's more like just... Uh, an enemy camp. It, it could be like literally anything. Oh, this is one of the crafting places where you can do sets. So if you don't know it, these, these places like this is where you can actually create, craft a set 
So for example, if you go in here, you can see there's like uh, different crafting stations. For example, clothing station. Um, I actually think I'm gonna use clothing set. So you can see here that if you create any item here, then you can see it becomes um, rope off the order's wrap. So basically it's called the order's wrap. So if I made a chest here, and see, you can see it, it will get these set bonuses. So if I have two of them, I get crit, then three uh, weapon damage, four crit, five crit, and also critical damage, critical healing by 8%. So that's how you can get some of the sets in the game. I'm not sure if anyone in the, of you in the chat has been watching the new movie um, for Love and Thunder, like the new Marvel movie, which just been in the cinema. I, I just watched it today. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm currently going over to this away shrine so I can unlock fast traveling here. There you go. Fast traveling is home. Now we're just going to go to the next main quest and see what happens. It's going to be interesting. Well, we are here. We are. Follow. Oh, so we have to get to get down there. Interesting. And there's an eye there, so it's like a, it's like a. Like Guild Wars, it's it's like a vista where you can like see something cool. But in this game, it's more likely, hey, try to see these cool things like this one here. I kind of, I really like having this stealth spell because it's it's so useful in this this game. Wow, it's it's weird. I'm like starting to get. Quite tarry, tired, sleepy. It's also almost one o'clock in the night. So it looks like I have more quests down here. I can't. I can't do dungeons yet. So I have this one here called uh, Polymorph, so I can transfer myself into a skeleton, but I can also be like a Wrath of Crows, and, and this one is pretty cool. So that was the main quest. Down there.
Hmm. Okay, I think I'm getting way too tired right now. It's like way too tired, so it's like I, my, my eyes just keep closing, and it's like, yeah. Then the, then the whole point of streaming is like missing out. But I still managed to almost stream two hours, which I think is pretty cool. I had a pretty long day also. So I'll, I'll definitely continue again soon. If I can. So I think we went pretty far in the story. And I'm excited to see like how, how it's gonna go. So, pretty cool. So for anyone who's watching right now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being on the stream. And also thanks to anyone who's like watching this as a video after the live stream. Thanks for being here and I'll see you on another live stream.